Hello, eyeball. Bye, eyeball. So, let's pretend that I just got my first level 25 battle pet, and it's my little molten corgi right here, Entei. Yes, they're all, almost all of them named after Pokemon. Deal with it. <laughs> my husband is here to provide commentary and to ask questions um, that he can think of or that I can think of for him. My very first question, do you want to level my battle pets for me? <laughs> Which, yes, I have done, because I love battle pets. But no more! No more! No. <laughs> he can do it his damn self with this awesome stone that we're going to get. Okay, so we're going to pretend that I have no other level 25 battle pets. Entei's my first one. Who to level first? Out hey, of Gina. Hey, yeah. Who should I level first? Awesome. Great question, Largo. Dermoth, <laughs> Dave, whatever I'm calling you today. Um, honestly, you're going to want almost one of every element, at least. You know, almost one of every type. But for the first few, to speed up the leveling, I would recommend a cat. Um, you can catch these cheetah cubs in the Northern Barrens. And the only reason I recommend them is because they have Devour, which means you can restore health anytime you kill a pet, and it means less time running back and forth to the stables or less time waiting for your revived battle pets to cool down. I'm going to pick the Lost of Lordaeron because I don't have a Undead Valkyr, and I'm also going to try the Creepy Crate uh, because they are apparently good substitutes for the Howl Bomb technique. Which means I also need to level up my Chrominius, but he's already up here somewhere like at 7 or so. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I'm going to switch one of these out. Alright, having arrived in Ogremar, I take off my Cloak of Coordination. Because it doesn't match my Transmog. The hat ruins it anyway. Uh, but then make sure that you switch whichever battle pet you're leveling to the first slot. Boop. Like so. And then we fly like an eagle. Or a druid, in this case. And fly right up here to the battle pets. Congratulations on earning the newbie achievement. Oh! Oh, grats! So, spiny lizards and dung beetles are about all you're going to find here. So, <laughs> dung beetle. you should be able to just use your level 1 pet and just fight. My recommendation for it, um, for these for pet battling in Ogamar to get started is to use your battle pet. They heal up when they level up, so at least at these low levels. So you just keep fighting with that one, get them to level four at least. And I lied; they don't heal up now. Apparently, whatever. Nope. Uh, But you just keep battling with this one battle pet, get it to level 4. Uh, level 4 works, level 5 is safer, but it takes a little longer. And just because the pets here are only like level 1 or 2. So what you want to do is keep pet battling, blah blah blah, get them up to level 4, and then as soon as you do that, switch to a different level 1 battle pet. Get as many battle pets as you want to try and use to level 4, because then you'll take all of those level 4 battle pets out to Pandaria and we will um, battle the critters out there with our Molten Corgi and we have to you'll see, throw the lower level battle pet, swap it out, blah 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 the general power leveling strategy for any game. So that's the strategy and maybe we'll see you guys in Pandaria if you don't have a level 90 or 100 character then the strategy would change, obviously, and I don't have a recommendation for you yet. <laughs> you don't have a battle stone and you're leveling from the beginning? Start with Molten Corgi, a cat, and something else. Mechanical is a really good idea, and Elemental is really good because one of the tamers later on has a team of three mechanicals that just wrecked the crap out of me. I had to specifically go back and level elemental pets just to be able to get past her. And you want to be doing the battle pet dailies because they give so much XP. Even if you're a little bit past that battle pet in particular, still do them because they give you the rewards, they give you pet treats, they give you XP bonuses and things like that. There are the most battle pets on this ledge over here by all these portals. There's a fantastic guide that I found on Wild Battle Pets. It is a guide that showcases 
the best type advantage disadvantages. All right, everybody, I think we're going to cut it right there. I just wanted to give a shout out to all the hammers of Goel that are going to be on our next episode, Thor be included. You saw me chatting with them occasionally in this current episode. Um, we're going to be doing a pet battle beginner series that will help people that are either A, starting from scratch, or B, using the 6.1 stone that's going to be available that will level a pet to level 25, which was my original strategy. Also, I wanted to plug in the hammer cast for everybody to go take a look at that. Our guild leader and some of our raid leaders go ahead and talk anything and everything about games twice, once a week, usually Wednesday. And it's a podcast. You can get it on your iPhone, iTunes, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and take a look. I'll put a link in the description. Bye.